welcome to the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright uh, Design Bolter House in uh, Cincinnati. It's uh, January 5th, 2019, and uh, I'm going to give one last uh, video tour of the home while we uh, still own it. Uh, we've uh, shot the photographs for... Uh, the listing yesterday and the home is in uh, perfect condition um, just thought I'd uh, start from the signature street view and uh, take a few photographs um, this is the wildflower garden that we uh, um, planted in the front yard uh, many years ago it's very beautiful in the summer the home is uh, has been reforested. All these trees that you see in front of the home we planted 15 years ago, and uh, it's amazingly private in the summer. So it's been a long journey of trying to uh, work on uh, the home's uh, siding since the southern overhangs not. Uh, wide enough to shade the south facing windows. Uh, every uh, spring equinox we uh, put up bamboo shades and uh, that uh, mitigates the um, sun during the summer. So it's one of those tricks that we've learned. Um, so we've uh, completely cleaned everything up it's uh, amazingly well prepared for for sale we're really pleased with the, the beautiful uh, beautiful um, style and design of the home this is uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, compression area uh, that uh, opens up into the great room which is a 50 by 20 foot uh, room that uh, um, opens out onto a terrace uh, to the southwest. Very, very cool indoor, outdoor spaces here. Um, it's really beautiful to have these uh, large. Uh, 10 foot tall doors open. We'll open those for our guests uh, coming at one o'clock. Um, so that's the addition that was put on a year and a half after the house was built. Uh, this is the carport, which was enclosed by the second owner. And also David Gosling, David and Miriam rebuilt the terrace here to help stabilize the house. It's been a, a great, uh, experience for everyone involved. Uh, Pat and Cedric built the home with the George Schaefer Company and uh, the Schaefer Company just did a, an amazing job of, uh, of uh, building the home exactly according to to the plans. Um, over the last several years I've uh, refinished the corner and the south side of Cedric's balcony with a natural uh, sickens finish, which we had learned from other right owners. Very beautiful. But the house came up for sale and we, uh, we had planned on moving after living here 15 years. And uh, so things all worked out. Uh, this is uh, the workspace for the, for the home. Uh, it's a, a wonderful, uh, the appointed, uh, um, kitchen. This was the window to the carport and then uh, we've uh, restored the kitchen with the red Formica countertops as as original. Turn the corner here and uh, we'll go upstairs where the, the bedrooms here the house. The lot was so steep that uh, it's a rare two-story Usonian where the walkway here um, becomes uh, um, the balcony and there's four 
four little bedrooms up here on the second floor and we've uh, named them for the four occupants uh, uh, Cedric Patricia John and Ted so this is uh, Cedric's uh, room has this uh, beautiful little uh, sitting area this patio which is just uh, really really fabulous to look at over the, the terrace here and uh, the work that I did to refinish uh, the home uh, we uh, didn't finish it all I had to just go ahead and uh, um, finish up the painting with the, the solid stain which was uh, originally specified on the plans was the solid stain this is where uh, Cedric was a classics professor and he uh, catalog wrote the catalog for the dig in Troy that uh, Cedric did and Pat was a classics scholar as well and she helped uh, edit those types of documents for uh, the professors the classics professors at UC the home has a the square is the glyph for the home or the sometimes in rights uh, um, Usonian homes, you'll see uh, a pattern of petroglyphs or dancers or just abstract uh, angles. Uh, there's John's room. It's the uh, same as uh, Patricia's room. And Ted's is there to the left. But this home has the square as its design. There's the bath, the tub, two sinks. And uh, so the home's just been an amazing experience uh, living in it. Uh, it's changed my life. I've uh, always wanted to be an architect. Um, but I was three years into my five year degree at, down at the University of Kentucky and started working for my dad's uh, advertising agency. And well, it, it enabled me to purchase the home, of which over the last 15 years has been my my uh, learning experience uh, just uh, fabulous uh, you know the David Gosling enclosed the carport to make uh, this room which was originally the playroom for the boys it became Cedric's study after he retired and then uh, the Goslings uh, made it their master bedroom and uh, enclosed the carport so you didn't have to Go outside and uh, put your coat on to go over to your to your master. We uh, finally finished the um, the master bath. Uh, it was originally just uh, Home Depot uh, cabinets and, and sinks and stuff, but we found a, a matching sink at another mid-century modern home here in Cincinnati, and and uh, recreated a. Wonderful master bath uh, inspired for the plumbing by uh, Cabousier's uh, Villa Savoy. The Farnsworth House by Mies van der Rohe and Villa Savoy's by Cabousier and Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water were the three uh, architects, uh, architectural buildings at uh, my uh, best studio in uh, University of Kentucky. I studied Falling Water and Got a got an an A on that class. It was it was by far my uh, um, most enjoyable class studying how uh, Wright had uh, um, integrated the trees that were on the lot to the siding of falling water, and in fact, in some cases, uh, built the pathway um, around the trees. So. Um, Kind of brings a tear to my eye, to, but I'm so proud of the work that we've done, Janet and I, to, to uh, restore the home, uh, to improve the home. You know, David and Miriam, they stabilized the home and uh, did put a great roof on it. And uh, Janet and I have uh, um, gone on to. Uh, improve the energy efficiency of the home uh, over over 60 percent so goodbye bolter house and all the 
fabulous parties and all the education that uh, we've done with the home. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting the new owners.